What's the crack lads? What is going on? Welcome back to another video. Apologies about no webcam in these videos. Uh, I'm using a different setup to record these videos at the moment because I'm not at home. But yeah, we are basically looking at the Golden Boys. All I can think about when I, lads, genuinely, all I think about when I uh, saw these was uh, Austin Powers. Gold! I don't know why, but it just reminded me of that. Anyway, we've got the Golden Boys here. Elevate the excitement still ongoing. I think these are going to be overshadowed because of the messy packs and the free messy and all that sort of stuff, which we've already covered on the channel. But we are going to go in here for our nominating contract players. So these are part of the nominating contract um, packs that you can get now. There's also other additions in this as well, but I do think that there's a couple of players in here definitely worth looking at, right? So if you're a newcomer, you can get a free nominating contract after 15 matches across any mode, uh, across any platform. And basically what you do is you'll see in the top right hand corner of the screen, you'll see all your nominating contracts there. We have two five star ones. They're free players. They don't cost you anything once you get the nominating contract. And then you can sign any of these players. Now I would say, right, there's probably two or three players in here that would have been worth signing if they were four star contracts. I think this is where they've messed up, including this guy uh, right here. He's a beast, man. His stats are outrageous. He's got standard form, but other than that, and the fact that he doesn't have one touch pass, he does have true passing. His card is ridiculously stacked, man. It's a, it's a really, really nice card. Um, when we take a look here at eFootballDB, as I said, these can be unlocked by nominating contracts. I'll keep that up on the screen. This guy's stats are off the off the chain, that's an old one, 89 dribbling, 88 type possession and low pass with acceleration, 88, he's going to have all those main stats that you need, apart from the player skills in the 90 zone, so very, very, very strong card, I would definitely recommend him if you're looking for kind of something a little bit different, but then you've got a couple of players in here that are just not worth signing in my opinion, including Cho and this guy as well, Imar, I mean I wish it was the legend classic Imar that used to play for Argentina, I think he was Argentinian, yeah he was, he was, um, but this guy again, if he was a four-star contract, he might be worth popping uh, into your squad and seeing what he's like. But for me, it's not going to be a card that I actually do end up getting. Even though his stats aren't too bad, we see a little version of him there at 91 overall. I would also throw Gordon in here for Newcastle fans. It's nice that you've got a pacey winger now. You've got 88 ball control, 92 dribbling, 86 uh, balance, 94 acceleration, and 88 speed. But I just feel like the way the wingers are working at the moment is you need better stats than this. You need the balance to be at least 90. You also probably need all his dribbling skills to be 90. And you need either one to either be able to pass or shoot. And he can do really neither here, even though he's got 75 finishing. He doesn't really have that many skills that you can do it. But listen, if you're a Newcastle fan, um, which, you know, as a United fan, I'm not going to say too much at the moment because I'm still hurt. But if you are a Newcastle fan, lads, this is a really, really solid option that you can play on the right flank and use him as your speedster, whether he's going to come on off the bench or whether he's going to start for you. It's it's kind of an exciting one because you can get him for free. And especially with the fact that he's got some nice player skills that are kind of against the run of his play, right? So he's got one touch pass and pinpoint crossing. He is very usable, but as a four star, he would have been much better in my opinion, right? We also have, if I was looking here, we also have this guy Cho. Again, you've got your center forward, similar to what we're going to see with uh, Muani, Kolo Muani from PSG, just limited in, in, in kind of his play, right? Even when we max him out here, he's going to have high acceleration, fairly decent balance and finishing, but he's not going to be running gun and he's not going to be any good in the air. So you need to have a top class center forward if you want to compete now um, in, in the game, right? So that brings us on to kind of the top four guys, right? Uh, I mean, Tottenham fans will be happy that they finally got a good card. We do have Mudrick as well on the blue side of London. We will have Mudrick, who's part of the match pass. We'll cover that in a video as well. Again, standard form is a Roman flank, but lovely player skills, double touch, scissors faint, and of course, that all-important one-touch pass with true pass and an outside curler. Very very good card if you ever look at him here. Uh, if I can just get him up here. Um, Kulovsky, Kulosevsky. This guy is very, very good dribbler type possession, and of course, that acceleration and balance. But again, just not really a specialist player, like just not good enough to be playing in a, in, in your squad if you have got uh, aspirations to go any further than Division 3. You know, you need to have those top class wingers that are really coming to the forefront now. Um, but still a decent option if you've got a couple of five stars floating around, right? The two top picks for me are probably Muani and Gravenberch or and Silva. Um, but Gravenberch is not bad either, right? He He's kind of limited in his that he's, he's neither here nor there, right? If you want to have a complete box-to-box, -box, 
I mean, you know, Free Bellingham makes bits of him and makes bits of this card because he's better than pretty much everything. Um, you know, and it just shows you the comparison of how good Bellingham was last week when they released him. But I think the only way to use Gravenberch is an attacking based centre midfielder, similar to kind of Pedri, where you're going to really max out his his stats and turn him into a bit of a de- a bit of a demon, right? So to do that, we're going to actually probably pop up his dribbling to tight possession to 88. And we're also going to pop up a little bit of his passing here as well and take away his um, physical contact to get us one more into dexterity or else one more into the balance to have him just moving forward a little bit nicer 88 type possession 80 kick and power 79 acceleration 78 speed they're all going to get the boost and his aggression is going to be naturally there as well he's got some fairly okay player skills nothing to really shout home about uh, but double touch and one touch pass are always exciting and very very nice as well low lofted pass I say he doesn't have a lot to shout home about but this is actually a very unique card because he's got area superiority I didn't see that there a second and long range shooting first time shot one touch pass so one of the most unique player skill sets that we've seen in quite a while from a CMF and this guy kind of has shades of Goretzka which is nice to me I will probably end up signing him and then we also have last but not least um we have Moani uh who's down as Silva is there as well Moani has got a wavering form brilliant player skills one touch pass double touch heading rising shot acrobatic finishing he also has true passing he's a bit of a kind of a harry kane-esque player in how he's playing in this because of his play style and stuff like that but when you do actually train him up he trains up quite nicely uh 88 offensive awareness and finishing and of course we're going to have the acceleration but the big killer on this card as is the as is the fact with any of the center forwards that don't have good balance that is going to kill him lad 73 balance you're just going to get thrown around the place in 50 50s with the way the gameplay is at the moment yes he can be a beast for you but i just feel there's better options out there last but not least we have silva now i signed silva for my road to glory a couple of days ago um and he's a monster man he's a really really solid player his standard card i would love to get this card he's got a face interception blocker sliding tackle and man marking he does need to have a couple of other player skills that i would throw on him definitely i would 100 be thrown on different play styles or player skills on him such as aerial superiority i would also probably throw on heading because uh he is a beast uh all rounder you know he's very fast and that's the thing I would say that with this guy, you're going to have him as your kind of fast mobile option, such as Kunde or somebody like that, while still having fairly high defense, right? Timber, Kunde, Tommy Yasu are all going to outperform him stat wise, but I feel like a Silva has got some really good player ID. So let me know what you guys think. We also have the match pass ones as well with Mudrik and Diakete, I think. Um, but yeah, my top picks for these would be Silva. And this guy, if you're looking for a little bit of a challenge, is something different. And I would also I would also say that Gordon is quite a very fast speedster. I don't know what I recommend him too much. Graven Birch is a unique enough player with his, his build and player skills, but I definitely think Silva is worthy of putting in your squad if you've got a five-star contract burning a hole in your pocket. So until next time, lads, don't forget to subscribe and we will talk to you in a bit. Peace.